the envelope to make sure that it is a triple A park. Right? Not for people from Bensonhurst or Brownsville, but for Garrison Beach. So, Marty? Okay. They're all yours. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, folks, I'm Marty Marr. I'm the Chief of Staff of Parks in Brooklyn. And uh, it, we're happy to be here tonight. We, we love, uh, A, we love doing stuff for the council member because he funds a lot of parks. And we love communities that really care about parks. So um, I don't know if you're aware, there's 887 parks in Brooklyn. And occasionally, you'll get a council member to give you 800000 uh, a million dollars here. I'm not sure if you guys realize how lucky you are. Uh, we call him for at least the Gerritsen Beach part. He's the $4 million man because there's about $4 million worth of projects just in the Gerritsen Beach area going on. We should call him the $40 million man because in Marine Park as a whole, there's about $40 million worth of projects going on. Uh, and, and that's to the credit of uh, Councilmember Fiddler. So we're, we're extremely grateful for that. And yes, he does call constantly. And he says, no, that's not good enough. No, we need more. No, we need better. I don't want it like Bensonhurst or bed I want it for people at SEBA. And so we have some uh, stuff to, to show you tonight. I just want to go through um, up here on this board. Just to orient you, here's the uh, baseball field that's existing. And here's the first part of the park. This is the skate area that we created, uh, the sort of multi-purpose area, and the first phase of the, uh, of the playground. That was uh, a, almost $2 million a couple of years ago that the councilman funded. And we like when we're the victim of our own success. Yes, it's nice, but it's not enough. So the councilman says, do more. <coughs> so uh, our commissioner says it's our business to make sure kids and parents have a place to do their business. So we funded a comfort station. And uh, this comfort station has been designed. That's what we call bathroom. In the <laughs> uh, so he, we funded this. Uh, he funded this. And it's been designed. And it's been awarded. The, it's been bid out. It's been awarded. We expect we'll see that probably sometime in the spring. The comfort station, which is actually going right here, so that it's close to the baseball players, it's close to the people that use the park, and for the well, model airplane folks and all of those. So, time out, second. I just want to be fair and clear. The first million in change for this project, I funded together with Senator Golden, then Assemblyman Sedio, and Borough President Markowitz, and I don't want to take credit for what's not. But he, he gets it all collected together. So <laughs> he's our broker. Um, so anyway, so we have that, that part completed. Uh, this bathroom will be starting sometime this spring. It's a nine-month, 12-month contract. Th typically, things like that nine take about a year, months. nine months to a year to complete. So um, that's not enough. We, we have a, a playground here that is a little small, and we're looking to expand it. So um, we have with us our, our team tonight. I just want to introduce them. Mike Lavery is our deputy director for capital projects in Brooklyn. Uh, he works very closely in my office. David Martin is our chief of design and construction for all of the Brooklyn projects. And David was smart enough to pick out a good architect in parks. Uh, Paul Kinanakis uh, does some exceptionally creative work. And I'm going to turn over the meeting to Paul to show you what we're looking to do in the next phase. And be assured that our intention is to keep the playground open while the construction and expansion is closing. Yes, we may have to, you know, a day or two here or there if there's some safety issues and we got to cut through the fence or whatever, but it's our intention to keep the existing playground open while we're doing the construction to, to whatever extent safety will allow that to happen. So on that note, let me turn it over to uh, Paul. <laughs> and if you need a pencil, right? Here, you like, I like a pen. He likes a pen. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Thank you. So yeah, so he oriented you basically, and um, here we have, <coughs> this is the existing playground as it is right now. And this is where the comfort station will be. So really, the most obvious choice for how to expand the playground is to add it into this area between the two. This is for the little kids who want to be close to a bathroom, you know, just in case. So um, that's where it's going to be going. So basically, I've listened to a lot of what is been desired in the neighborhood, and it seems as though that, number one, um, a spray shower um, and additional play value in the, uh, in the actual playground here. So this is the existing playground as you see it, and what I decided to do was to join 
the two, you know, the comfort station and expand the playground with a central space over here, which would be a seating area and also a spray shower area for the kids to play. Um, I'm using all the same materials, um, asphalt hex box pavement, um, and introducing a lot more planting into the actual park, and um, really joining this, this side of the park with the comfort stations to make it one cohesive space. Um, so basically I have a couple of images of what it will, the central space will look like. I don't know if you guys can see it from the back, but as you enter into the park, um, I'm just lucky enough to be able to use some higher end materials, so I hope the vandalism is kept in. <laughs> um, I have really nice bluestone pavement on the ground. There's going to be some boulders, um, and underneath it, the water is going to spray out. And along the perimeter, you can see over here, I have the seating along the perimeter so the parents can hang out and check out their kids and make sure they're you know, doing the right thing. And um, also in this area is a sort of a secondary spray shower area where I have these vertical spray elements. And there's basically going to be uh, three and a half inch diameter stainless steel pipes of all different sizes. This is a natural area, this is a marine park. It's supposed to evoke the nature that, you know, it sits in. Um, and basically, not there's about 20 of them, and about six of them will spray water from up above. And uh, this is just a view from the other direction. I don't know if anybody can see. But. I just ask you one question. Sure. Um, we only have three swings. Yeah. Two. Two. Two swings. There's a couple Two. swings. And one slide. Yes. One slide. Well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem. That is yeah. So I'm doing it. It's okay. not child friendly. No, that's the I was saying water and stuff like no, that. that. Was, sure that, that was, you know, that's the focal point. But also on these, you know, you have these circular areas, and you've got the one slide, you have the one swing, and the merry-go-round, and this larger unit and sand table. So I, I, I continued the circle, you know, the circle shape geometry, and I gave what I'm doing here. This is more of like. I have a large unit and a small unit. You've got a lot going on in a very small space. Um, you've got a bunch of slides, little climbing apparatus. Um, I have a whole bunch of music type of events going on. So there's going to be a lot more climbing and you know 